was the idol of the western suburbs, Ted Whitten. Like Charlie Sutton before him and Doug Hawkins later, Whitten represented the working class origins of footy when larrikins became Footscray heroes by just being themselves. A bit young son to host a show like this on your own. But then... No buts, Doug. He'd be serious about this son. <laughs> Keep going. That was you. <laughs> now tell me, Mr. Whitten, Mr. Football, if you like, did you ever give some back chat to the little man in white? Ted, how does it feel uh, to be walking down this lane, approaching the game for approaching the ground for your for your last game? Feels bloody awful, David. Does it? Does it? Yeah, I don't feel very happy about it at all. Out of sight. Hey, you've got the wrong boat. I only whacked them when the ball was in sight. Now we've got our backs against the wall, we're gonna fight, and we're gonna fight hard. You've got to show me all the guts and all the determination you've got in your body. You've got to inspire me with this last quarter bit. You've been in front all day, you've got to stay there. And I'll be all for And and there's fister cuffs going on right, left and centre, and um, I rush, rushed in and of course I play with no teeth, so I'm I'm spitting and shouting at Teddy and shaking him and you know I was just about ready to go on with Teddy and all of a sudden he turned around and he said, Kiss me, killer. Try to get rid of it. Tell me, Mr. Football, was there a fight you'd ever miss? And didn't you give the gummy shark a hug and a farewell kiss? No, no, not me. I was just trying to get the mud out of his mouth. Thank you. I'm glad you like the film because a very special little presentation from all us here at World of Sport yes. goes with all of our very best wishes, congratulations, and that's a film of the action that you've just seen. Thank you very so, much. So uh, that'll be a memento of your last day. Good on you. Just look at the camera, Dougie, and say, Go, go doggies. doggies! Go! Oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> football's most emotional day, when E.J. Whitten dominated the Melbourne cricket ground for the last time. He was aptly described as one of the few men who had given more to football than it had given him. It's one of the most moving things you can see is, uh, I think, a tremendous tribute to Ted, because Ted was seen as a footy person, and was. You know, I think Teddy realised that the end was pretty near and uh, it was a special moment to him and a special moment for footy. It was one of those integrative things that, that brought through a person, brought the whole footy world together. To see that man uh, push his arm into the air to wave was um, something that I think people, you know, were touched by. Even in front of the members, he... he... He gave them the defiant fist in the air uh, when his son told him that he was passing the members. Forget about anything else, he just saw a father and son really enjoying the moments of their last days together in their life. That, when he grabbed his uh, son's face going around in that car, um, I've seen it and I've, I've had goosebumps every time I see it, and uh, close to tears. But he's got his arm around his dad and their faces touched and Teddy's punching the air like only Teddy can do. It was just absolutely some feeling, something really special. I think it's a great part of football to be involved in and I was there and I'm glad I went and I'm glad I took my own son. Charlton's Football Show.